what is going on guys the collapse here and welcome back to the next episode in our let's play clash of clans series so today what i plan to do is we're going to max out a couple things let's go ahead and dive right into this episode guys so today let's go check out our progress base what we're going to be doing or what i plan to do is i think we should max out this barracks uh we should go ahead and uh, max out an archer tower and i've been neglecting this army camp for some reason but i need to go ahead and keep upgrading that as well so that's probably you know my the main you know, plan for today. I also need to get my laboratory going. We have, you know, a couple troops that we need, or a couple things that we need to max out in our laboratory. Uh, we got the goblins to level three. We got the wizards to level two, and we can also get the lightning spell to level two. I believe is maxed. I'm not entirely sure on that, but I believe we're gonna do that. The wizards today because I feel like they'll be a little bit more powerful than the other things, and I don't really use the lightning spell uh, a whole lot because it does cost. I believe. Like 15,000 uh, elixir. Yeah, 15,000 elixir. So I don't really want to use too many lightning spells because they're, for right now, they're level one. So they're not necessarily too strong and too necessary. Uh, but yeah, so today we need to get 240,000 elixir for that. We need to get 150,000 elixir for that. And we need actually even more elixir for our army camp. Uh, we have the gold for the archer tower, so we don't really have to worry necessarily about the gold. But, you know, we always want gold, right, guys? Right. Okay, so let's, uh, I got Barch cooked up. We now have maxed out Barch. I believe in the last episode we maxed out the archers. Um, so we're going to have max Barch, level 3 barbarians, level 3 archers. We should be able to easily take out some bases. Uh, and for our next attack, you know, I, I still got Barch as well. Um, so let's go see if we can do some attacks. Let's see if I can get a 3 star as well. Uh, because that'll help me with my, my treasury, or, uh, get loot in my treasury, you know, my star bonus, stuff like that. So, ooh, this base has a ton of loot. I don't know if we'll get a star off of this one, uh, but this base, well, actually, we don't need gold that much. We need, actually, elixir. Uh, so I'm actually gonna skip that base. While we're looking for a base, guys, I do wanna let you guys know that I do live stream every day, except on Sundays on Facebook Gaming. Uh, I have eight other different accounts. And we do different high-level attacks, different attack strategies, pretty much every town hall. So you guys definitely want to come hang out for that. Uh, but like I said, it's every day at 5 p.m. Central Time. I don't really exactly know, you know, what time zone that is for you. But uh, if you just, you know, search it on the internet, 5 p.m. Central Time USA, uh, that'll find out, you know, basically where you are. So there's that. Uh, man, we need to find some elixir. We really need elixir. We have a ton of elixir upgrades today. Uh, if you guys also, go ahead and go ahead and hit that like button, guys. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button for daily Clash of Clans content. I got a brand new series, uh, Fix That Super Rush Town Hall 13 we got going on. You guys should definitely go check that out. Uh, if you guys, you know, have a rush base or, you know, you just want to see some uh, very ugly looking base play right now. Uh, but we will be fixing that base very soon. Um, it's just going to take a very long time. Uh, but definitely go check that out, guys. It uh, greatly helps me when you uh, hit that like button. It uh, kind of helps out, you know, with the YouTube, you know, algorithm thing. Kind of gets my, you know, videos a little bit more noticed, and I'd greatly appreciate that. That's kind of a win-win type thing. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and find us a base to attack, and I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so I found a base that I believe, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get, like, a one-star or two-star or even really a three-star, but this base had too much loot, and I couldn't pass it up. So we're going to go ahead and attack this base. Now I want to use this lightning spell to see how much damage I can do to this mortar. So let's go ahead and drop that on there and see exactly how much. Uh, it actually took out more than half of its health. So that's actually really good. So we're going to go ahead and drop our barbarians to distract. And we're going to drop our archers in the background to help take out that gold. And we, we do need the elixir as well. So we're going to go ahead and drop some of our barbarians up top. Get this easy elixir out of these collectors. And hopefully we can get in this base and potentially, you know, get a one star. Maybe even a two star if we can get that town hall. The problem is, is that mortar right there. If we can get through, get through this wall. and But that storage, ooh, that storage is going to be a pain. We did get that uh, cannon out of the way. We did get a star, so that's actually really good. That's actually really good. That means the next raid, we're only going to have to get two stars. But that mortar just took out almost in my entire army. <laughs> that's not that's not a good thing. So, But at least we got the one star. We got plenty of elixir. We got, what, 330,000 elixir right now? 
And with our next raid, we're going to be able to get... Um, we're definitely going to be able to get our star bonus. So we definitely want to take advantage of that. So we have a full army camp. Uh, we, I mean, we got 200,000 gold and elixir in our treasury. So, you know, if we do get into a bind where we don't have enough loot, I will definitely be able to, you know, rely on my treasury to, you know, get us over that hump of what we need. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my laboratory. We're going to go ahead and get these wizards to level 2. It's in, that's going to give them extra 20 damage per second. That is actually really good. And 15 more extra hit points. So let's go ahead and upgrade. 12 hour upgrade. 150,000 elixir. That is very expensive. It's only going to go up from here. But let's go ahead and do this. Kaboom! Alright, so we're going to go ahead and let that go. Now we need about 60,000 more elixir for our next, hopefully, raid that we can... Uh, that we can get that going. Actually, we need 70,000 because I want to get this army camp going as well. Uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and upgrade the army camp. Might as well, right? Two hour upgrade, 10,000 elixir. That seems pretty cheap compared to that wizard. Let's go ahead and do that. Kaboom! And that's going to go all the way to level five. So let's go into level three. So it's got two more levels after that. I need to quit neglecting that because that's just going to get me more troops that I'm going to be able to take into battle. So let's go ahead and do another raid. Let's go see if I can get a two-star and hopefully find, what do we need? We need 240,000, so we need 70,000 gold, or no, it's not, not gold. Uh, I got gold on the brain, guys. I need so much gold to upgrade these walls. I got, you know, other buildings that I got, or defenses that I got to build and upgrade, so, ooh. Okay, 70,000 elixir right there. And like we talked about in the last episode, don't put your splash damage on the outside. Oh, man, this is this is going to be nice. We're going to go ahead and take out this mortar first. And after we take out that mortar, we should be easy peas. We're going to go ahead and drop some barbarians on either side here. And drop some archers in the back to help take that out. And we should have free reign on getting through to this base. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to drop a bunch of barbarians on this side. Because that's where the, uh, the elixir is that we need. So we're definitely going to want, you know, to focus on this side there is a collector on this side that we need to get and that's gonna be we should get a two star we're definitely gonna get the elixir that we need if we don't get the star or the two star we'll just go do another raid how about that you know we always have uh troops at our disposal and i'm gonna show you guys a quick way that you guys can train troops uh not like speed up the process but like where you don't have to you know always just press and hold you know barbarians or archers and stuff like that um, they have this, they implemented it quite a, quite a while ago. Um, it's like a quick train feature, that's what they call it. And uh, I'll be able to show that here in a second. But this is actually going to be a three star. We're going to get all the elixir that we need for our, uh, for our barracks. We got plenty of gold for one of our archer towers to go to max. That was actually an epic raid. That was a ton of elixir. But guys, just remember, don't put your splash damage on the outside. Man, if you guys look at my base layout, you know, my base hasn't really uh, been attacked, you know, for more than, like, a star. Um, I mean, this this account doesn't, or this attack doesn't really account because I left it on my progress base on accident. So this one doesn't really count. Um, but my other ones, you know, one star, one star, one star. I don't remember. If, is this my base layout? No, nope, that was my old base layout. So this base layout that I have now is actually really good. It's working very well for me. Uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and upgrade our last barracks, 240,000 elixir. That's going to go ahead and max out this barracks, and it's going to make the training time of the wizards 40 seconds. That's going to reduce uh, by 20 seconds for the wizards, so let's go ahead and upgrade that. 12-hour upgrade, 240,000 elixir, kaboom! So that is now maxed out. We need to go to our progress base and move this bad boy across... The walls to the promised land. He is now maxed out. We can go ahead and move this wall across uh, back in line. All right. So we got the army camp going. We got the barracks going. And we have the laboratory going. So with our gold, we only need 180,000 gold for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and upgrade some of these walls. Wall progress is uh, steadily going. You know, we, we're pretty much we're maxing out our walls now. They only go to level 5. Uh, so, you know, this is maxing them out. And we're able to, you know, burn as much of our gold as possible because, you know, when we're offline, we don't want people to take our loot. Our hard-earned loot, our hard-earned money, we don't want people to take it. 
So we're gonna go ahead and burn as much of it as we can, and that way, you know, for the next episode, we'll have you know plenty of walls done. We'll be able to go farm for some more loot. Now I can't do another wall uh, because the arch tower does take 180 thousand. So let's go ahead and max this one out. Look at that brand new structure for the archer towers. Getting those wood pedestals with the uh, little placement on top. So that's gonna give them a huge upgrade to their little uh, their little home. So eight hour upgrade. 180,000 gold kaboom and that is going to go ahead and max that out that's our first maxed out archer tower uh so i can go ahead and move this wall over because they only need one more level so let's just go ahead and do that now cannons still have two more levels uh that we have to worry about uh we need to start i want to focus on the arch towers first because like we talked about they hit both air and ground so those are going to be you know pretty high powered for us um, so we did all the upgrades on our main base. Let's go check out um, our builder base, see if there's anything that we can do over here. Uh, if we look at our little builder guy, we still got to build the crusher. That's 120,000 gold. Uh, I don't think we can do anything in the laboratory. We got to get 120,000 elixir for that. Uh, so let's just go do a raid, see where we're at, and see if we can do actually any upgrades. We got our rage barbarians that we're going to go ahead and drop in here. This should be an easy three star. Oh, two giant bombs in the middle. Okay, I should have I should have been cautious about that, but that's going to be an easy three star for us. No base design on this base, and that's just going to get us the easy three star. Most likely, we're going to win because people can't three star my base. I have a superior base layout. Oh, and this I didn't even see that. Man, I gotta I gotta remember to start scouting out my base because he, there's an army camp over here, so they're going to take out this, and they got to walk all the way over. To this side of the base and take out that army camp. I apologize, guys, for making this builder base take so long to attack. But uh, we're, we should still win, even though we're going to take way too much time. Come on, barbarians. I wish you guys could run faster. Why can't you be like the archers and be super fast? You know how awesome that would be? But no, I think these, these guys actually look stronger than like barbarians on our main base. Uh, because the barbarians on our main base just have like a little sword, you know. But we did get a three star, easy three star, and we still won because he only got thirty four percent. Not able to take out my superior base. So sixty two thousand gold. What can we upgrade? We can do the double cannon. We can do the archer tower. Let's go ahead and do that archer tower. That is a top priority. Fifteen minute upgrade, not very long. Thirty thousand builder gold. Let's just go ahead and upgrade that as well. Now, I did say uh, there's an easier way to kind of train your troops. If you go to your barracks and you hit the little quick train tab, I don't believe I've shown this yet, but you can actually create army comps. So what I have done on uh, actually only one of these is I made uh, like a barge loon type uh, army comp. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make strictly a barge comp. We'll do 60 barbarians, 60 archers. I don't want to put the spell in there because I don't really use spells every time. Um, so I'm not going to put the spell in there. If I want to use spells, you know, then I'll just go ahead and make one. But this tells you how much time it's going to take, how much it's going to cost. And you can save that. And, you know, I can just go ahead and hit train instead of, you know, going to train troops, training, you know, 60 barbarians, 60 archers. I can just go to quick train, click on train, and it'll do it all for me. Uh, but I believe that's going to be it for this episode, guys. We're getting very close to, you know, maxing out our Town Hall 5. Uh, I've been doing the collector's. And gold mines off camera. I haven't done the storages or any other upgrades off camera. I've just been doing collectors. I haven't really even been doing walls because because I've been saving my gold uh, for these expensive upgrades. But uh, we got that army camp going. We got our laboratory running, and we always want to have our laboratory running. We got our last barracks going to max. We got an archer tower going to max. So huge progress on the base today. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this. Hit that subscribe button for daily Clash of Clans content. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications to know exactly when my videos go live. Go ahead and check out my uh, new series, Fix That Super Rush Town Hall 13. It's basically like a level 1 Town Hall 13. So you guys definitely want to check that out. And come hang out my live streams, guys, every day except Sundays at 5 p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you guys there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you all next time.